how Boozer's holding up. I guess I should uh, go check on him. Hope he's awake. you, but, uh, I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down, but, uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though, um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's gonna be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Seems like he's uh, getting better. Hey, yeah. Uh, how's it going? What's going on, Blair? <laughs> Whatever you need, I got it. About that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did, but he, uh, well, he put up a hell of a fight. So he didn't leave me much choice, Mike. He didn't. Uh, you remember what I said about how we do things around here? Yeah, yeah, Mike, I remember. Lost Lake out. Deke, you gotta hurry. Ricky, what's going on? That guy we've been looking for, Eric Lynch, who, who murdered Camel and Reed at the farm? The Lynch man. Son of a bitch. You know where he is? Yes, uh, yeah. He's on the north shore at the old boat launch. Skizzle wanted to go after him, but Iron Mike said to get you. I'll get to him. Thanks, Deke. Hurry. How's the arm? You know, it's about 50% there. <laughs> Sorry, the line continued over there. Seriously, though, it's like I can still feel my right hand, you know? I think they call that phantom pain. That's what Addy said.
Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh. that's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. Okay, yeah, I, I get it. I need the area secured now. This time, I mean, no one has trackers on their heat. Okay, guys, I gotta Check place in. a tracker okay. on that chopper. Lock down. Come I'm on, clear. guys, just gotta clean around. Perimeter's clear. Can't let them see me. Good to go. So, what the hell are you boys doing here, huh? Figured you'd stop and fill up at the old Paltrow well, well, gas station. That was a lot of cash. I didn't see that sign says gas yeah. low. But no, I'm guessing you guys don't got that problem, do you? Seems like it's always raining out here. Here we go. We have now Hope completed the survey cheese. of 24 nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade me. Highway Lumber oh. Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Ah, oh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A crazy willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. What do they build them? We don't know. What do they only build them in? You know, building structures, cabins, things like that. We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them or wild animals we build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. down to the barracks to let you know. Just asking. I see things too, you know. It was always a crime. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. Birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, Give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. Oh shit. Again, some things about the old world I don't miss. Upload complete. Yeah. Not really with a sign of Bible. You're always in the Reciting Bible verses. That must be nice. Flying all over hell and gone and finding time to read. Jesus, Brian. Done. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here before one of them spots me. Stop by. Say John out. Deke, we need him alive. Alive? Oh, come on. No, why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. 
You're making my day a lot more complicated, but f okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. It should work. How's it going, Lynch man? What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Thought you just kill a couple guys right off with our shit? Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <laughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know? Instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay, man, suit yourself. Hey, Ricky, I got him. And I'll uh, send you his position. Send someone out here to pick him up. Does he have the seeds on his bike? I can fix this. No, no, I didn't see him. All right. We'll bring him in. Boss Lake out. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So, now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the hydro dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh, no. Riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? 
Now I'm asking for yours. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can write. No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running the Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? That means more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, hit me in infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh, from the look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, that meant Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addy? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where'd you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I'm, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? A Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's going to track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. You just wanted out of marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky. Nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just, no. No. Nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, He's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. 